So first I ripped the hobby, now it's time to rip some retail. Hi all, welcome to Night Rips. And what I'm talking about is some of this. This would be 2022 Allen and Ginter. Of course this would be one of those blaster packs which a little bit different than the hobby box that I opened. But wanted to see, you know, I can get my hands on this relatively easy. I, I think this is gonna be a, a product that you're gonna find pretty easy on the shelves. Maybe we'll see. Of course, I ordered this one just so I could see if I get it in. But decided to go ahead and take my chances, rip it, see what we can get. Because I did pull a lot of it. There's the odds if you wanted to pause it. But I did pull quite a bit in that hobby. I haven't seen how far I am down the set. But I did pull all my hits were actually pretty good hits. But I don't always go for the hits. Sometimes you have to go for... The base set itself, eight packs, six cards per pack, total 48 packs. So let's go ahead and zoom on in, see what we can find. But first, invite you to join the channel, hitting that subscribe button below, and of course the notify bell. Now one thing I did notice whenever I was ripping those hobby is there was some really cool inserts in this one. For example, there's that What's Cooking insert set. Oh, that's interesting. Grushka, right off the bat, throw me off. Ian Grushka is a musician. Oh, he's a bass player too. Oh, for Newfound Glory, okay. I know who Newfound Glory is. Did not know Grushka was their bass player, but that's cool. Rod Carew. But I was mentioning that what's, uh, what's cooking, and actually we got one of the what's cooking. This is a chili powder. So it is a 10 card set that honestly, if you put together everything that's you know on the cards, this will be a Rodney Scott barbecue sauce. So we'll see if we can finish that one. Of course there is Otis, is that a, and it is actually a Ginterback. Pretty cool. And then end it with Jameson, and he is an artist. I was looking at, I mean, I saw the bat, but I also saw the face mask. I'm like, what is he? Okay. So let me put the what's cooking to the side, since that is an insert set, and see what else we can find. Be interesting to see if, if each, I, I do have a few of these blasters. Be interesting to see if these blasters will be one of those what's cooking per blaster. It's Rafi Devers. And... Yastrzemski, nice Roger Maris, and we got a pitching a gem of Shohei Otani. Unfortunately, I think I already have this one. Yes, I already have this one, but that's okay. There's Quato, and of course that is that is a different back, but it doesn't look like the black back. I'm going to have to check that one out because that one looks a little bit different, but I'm going to put it to the side and end it with Shane Bieber there with the Cleveland Guardians. Huh. That, that back. Actually, I'm going to look on the side here just out of curiosity to see if there is any anything other than there's the black border, no number, there is a gold. I'd be surprised if it is, but it might be. I don't know, it definitely looks different than black. So we'll see, we'll see if we pull another one. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to go whenever I start putting these away. There's MVP, Aaron Judge, and Pedro. I'm real curious now. And we, of course, we pull another Judge card. Of course, this will be the Rookie of the Year. That's a banner season. So 2017 Rookie of the Year and obviously 2022 MVP. And we got ourselves a... This is the Arcadia National Park inside the park, which I do remember because I didn't get very many of these. I have pulled that one before. And then Corey Seager. Interesting, I'm already pulling a lot of dupes from what I pulled in the hobby. But that's always the problem with hobby boxes because you get so many cards. 
You just never know. Lorenzo Kane. Oh, whoa, looky here. And we got a hit. And not only a hit, this is a game use mem of my boy, Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, wow. Now it is the, the less rare hit, and it is not numbered. But that is pretty cool. We got a nice piece of a bat of Ronald Acuna Jr. Of course, the odds on this one, as I look real quick, I'm going to see. That would be one in 69 packs. So, wow. Not complaining at all. Pulling a Ronald Acuna Jr. hit. And we got Famous Rivals. And all oh, this is a funny one. The Famous Rivals of George W. Bush and Al Gore. Of course, if you remember that, that uh, election, that was a big one. The rookie, uh, rookie variation mini of Shane Baz and Otto Lopez. Because I'm dropping cards because I am still in shock of pulling a Ronald Acuna Jr. bat relic. So I mentioned, curious, what's the difference between hobby and relic? I mean, not hobby and relic, hobby and retail. And right now, other than I only got one hit in this, not three. It's the captain, Jerk Jeter. This one's been pretty good. Lance Steiner, who is a curler. I recognize that one. And it's Jason Veritek. And of course, we got another Brave. What do you know? World Series MVP. That would be Tom Glavin. Nice Brave winning the 19, uh, 1995 World Series. Matter of fact, it would be this World Series ring where he was the MVP. It's always nice when you have your props handy. And we got, which Manning is that Bat Manning? Now, this is the black border, which means this is the gold border. Wow. So, and that one right here is, I remember looking at it, a black bordered mini is only a, check it real quick, that's black border is one in every 130 packs. Gold is also one in every 130 packs. But pretty cool. I've never pulled a gold bordered mini. Last card, the immortal Albert Pujols. Of course, this year being his last year. Three packs to go. And this rip has honestly just been off the charts. Brian Reynolds, there's a Murphy. Of course, she doesn't look like a baseball player it's because it's Morgan Murphy, the comedian. Hmm, okay. Of course, we all know Babe Ruth. And we get Get That Bread, which talks about sandwiches, this one being the Turkey Club. And I love Turkey Club, and it kind of makes sense here after celebrating Turkey Day just recently. Got a mini of Kyle Schwarber, and it's also a Ginter back. And always looking at that back, just making sure both of them, yeah, they're both numbered and they're both Ginter backs. And then, of course, there's Brandon Lau, or Josh Lau, sorry. Two packs to go. All right. Nice Bryce Harper. Unfortunately, it's going to be out of commission for quite a while. Aliba. And there's Jorge Soler. I knew he was number 301. I looked, I was looking at the knew it was a short print there. Of course, that was him in his Miami. I liked him better when he wore a Braves, but just because he kind of put one over the fence. In that game six, Steve Carlton, we've already pulled before. There's Tim House. Of course, that's just a plain back. It's actually the first plain mini I've gotten. And then Donovan. What is Donovan? He is a soccer player. All right, last pack. Kind of floored with this rip here. Again, pulling things I've never seen before. Gold borders. Of course, 
getting in a Ronald Acuna Jr. That cannot complain about that one at all. There's Steve Carlton and CJ Cron. Adolo, and we got another MVP. This one would be 1972 MVP with the Red Sox. That would be Dick Allen. No, oh, White Sox, my bad. I should have known that's not a Red Sox uniform, even though it is red, but it is White Sox. It looks like the banner year is the one you pull a lot of this year. And we got a bearing fruit. I haven't seen this one yet. This would be the star fruit. Okay. And then we'll end it with Willie Stargell. All right. Well, this was a nice, fun, fun little rip. I do know one thing I is amazing. I did get another one of these What's Cooking. I have a plan. If I do get all 10 of these, I have a plan of a special video I'm going to put together. We'll see what happens. But what did we pull kind of cool out of this one? Things that I have never seen before. I did pull this gold border, which is different than the black border. Looks like it's the same odds, but different color, which is cool. I've never pulled a gold border before. Uh, pulled a lot of the other ones, but I did pull this bearing fruit. That's a different type of insert set that I've pulled before. But honestly, the big one that I pulled this one, and I'm not complaining at all, a nice little game used piece of bat of our star right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr., who kind of had an off season this year simply because he's coming back from a torn ACL. But we'll see how he does next year. He is playing in, um, I want to say the Dominican League or the Venezuelan League. I can't remember. Just to get his swing, get really back in shape. So that's it. Fun little rip for a cute, you know, a little $25 blaster. Not going to complain about this one at all. We definitely hit some cool stuff in this one. So I hope you like this type of stuff. And if you like any of these baseball card openings, I invite you to join the channel, hitting that free subscribe button below, and hitting the notify bell. Also, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. But as always, hit the thumbs up on the video. It definitely helps drive the algorithm to basically get to more views and helps the channel. Appreciate taking the time watching this, and look forward to doing it again here real soon. So until next time, bye now.